Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is Lost and Found. Beloved family, our text says, But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet. And bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Luke 15, 22 to 24. When I was in high school, they had an area near the dean's office called Lost and Found. I often found myself there looking for something I misplaced or lost while running from class to class. No one knows the value of what is lost except the owner. And only the owner can really appreciate what was lost that is now found. Many of you that listen to these kingdom seeds that we plant each day know that I am transparent with my relationship with my earthly father. But this seed is to let the enemy know, to declare in the atmosphere that I am waiting for my earthly father to accept King Jesus Christ as his Lord and return home to his heavenly father as well. My hope is filled with faith. In our seed message today, the son decides that he wants to leave home, to leave the protection and provision of his father, because in his mind, he doesn't need anything else from his father. What an often mindset. But before we judge him, many of us treat God the father the same way. I know I've done that. We pray to him for our needs to forgive us our sins, deliver us from evil, to guide and protect us, and yes, to provide our daily bread and every other blessings we desire. But then we turn our backs and we leave his presence. Oh, let me bring this to your house. We pray to God for a raise, bonus, or a new job or career. We pray for a better relationship or a new one. We pray for the contract or that deal that would give us more financial freedom. Or we pray for that ministry to grow or for that book to be completed and become a bestseller. Many of us pray for healing or breakthrough in some trial or adversity. And our God is faithful. He may not answer in our own time for what we want, but because he created time and is outside of time, when he steps in time, he's always on time. He gives us what we need, and it's far better than what we wanted. You dream and wanted that man or woman that turned out to be your worst nightmare. Help me, Holy Ghost. But then when God grants our prayer, he provides for us, just as the prodigal son father provided for him. But when we decide we don't need God anymore, oh, we got this. We have the big house, the new car, the trophy man or woman, we good. And then we don't give God thanks as if we did it all on our own. Listen, I am so guilty as charged here. This message is for me today. After I got the house on the golf course, the pool, and the nice cars, my desire was for more goods instead of more God. Oh, Father, I know that's the truth. I didn't read the word or pray as much as I used to. See, I missed what the lesson when Jesus fed the 5,000 fish or bread after he fed them the bread of life or words from God. They followed him and said, teacher, where have you been? We have been looking all over for you. King Jesus turned and answered them, yes, most assuredly, I say to you, you seek me, not because you saw the signs, but because you did eat the loaves and were filled. John 6, 26. In other words, you seek me for my hand and not my heart. 
Ah, and isn't that the issue with the prodigal son? He cared more about the hand of his father than the heart of his father. He says, give me my inheritance so I can go. Oh, I pray this word blesses someone today. If we could only understand that it is better to be in the presence and protection of the Father than possessions of the Father. David said, you show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16, 11. See, possessions may bring us temporary happiness. But when they run out, so that the happiness as well. Oh, but joy in his presence. There is joy and pleasures forevermore. Why? Because he shows us the path of life. Okay, I'm still in the text. What was the prodigal son reason for leaving the presence of his father? Yes, he wanted to experience life. He wanted to find his way in life or his own path. But that path led him to a life of misery. He ended up broke, busted, and disgusted. The path only brought him wrath. The path took him to a pig pen where he stunk and smelled like those that he left the father's presence for. Oh, but I love the response of the father. He didn't give up. He didn't give his son wrath, but a calf. He eagerly watched and waited for the son to return to his senses and return home. Then he says, kill the fatted calf to the disapproval of his brother. Don't miss this. The day the prodigal son left, the calf was being fattened. While the son was starving away from the father, the calf was being fatted in preparation for his return. Then the father gave him a ring and throw a big party in his honor. My son was lost, but now he is found. The brother said to the father, you have never done anything like this for me, but you treat him like he never left you. The father says, son, all I have belongs to you, but your brother, my son was dead, but is now alive. He was lost, but is now found. And look what King Jesus said. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Matthew 13, 46-46 your presence, O oh Lord, is important to us. Your kingdom is where we want to be found. We misunderstood our value, identity, and worth. Though we were once prodigal, we now return home to you. We were lost, but now are found. Thanks be to God, who is looking and watching for me and you to come to our senses and come home to the Father. Much love.